Now let's get going folks and we'll begin like we will every day here on Menzoid Mornings with something that's really grinding my gears. Time now for the Menzoid Monologue. I was having a circa 1977 moment the other day asking myself, is it real or is it Memorex? This query was the tagline for Memorex cassette recording tape. Yes, back in the late Cretaceous period, prior to digital tunes and Steve Jobs revolutionizing everything, music lovers had to tape record their favorite songs for portability and Memorex was one of the better brands of recording tape out there. I know what the young'uns are saying, how lame. Yeah, true enough, but hey, at least cassettes were better than eight tracks, yikes. In any event, I was thinking of this old tagline because facsimiles have been in the news of late. Indeed, this has been quite the month for cheaters and liars making the rounds. From Lance, at least I didn't call her fat, Armstrong, to that human Xerox machine known as Chris Spence, the former Toronto District School Board Director, whose byline appeared on several superb newspaper columns. Uh, too much, too bad much of the pithy prose was written by others, but I digress. Now the latest celebrity liar is Notre Dame's Manti Teo. He allegedly had a girlfriend who died of cancer, except she didn't die of cancer. She didn't die of anything, rather, because, well, Teo's gal pal, she doesn't exist. By the way, did you know this tidbit actually prompted news alerts on some U.S. news channels as though this revelation was crucial need-to-know information, as though it were a tsunami alert or something? In any event, a debate continues to rage. Was Teo the victim of a bizarre hoax that led him to believe a woman had died of cancer? Or did the linebacker just go along with this outrageous hoax for reasons that, well, who knows? Look. Let's just assume the Heisman Trophy runner-up is a delusional egomaniac. I guess the question that arises now is, well, so what? If Teo had been using this story to bilk people in order to raise money for non-existent cancer treatments, then he'd be a world-class creep and such a scam would be criminal. But there seems to be no financial angle to the dead fake girlfriend yarn. So maybe we should just cut the kids some slack here. After all, who among us doesn't bend the truth from time to time? Hey, examples abound. Remember that confession by Elaine Bennis on Seinfeld in which she admitted to, well, faking bliss on occasion? You fake? On occasion. And the guy never knows? Yeah. How can he not know that? Because I was good. <laughs> I guess after that many beers, he's probably a little groggy anyway. <laughs> No. Okay. You didn't know. Are you saying <clears throat> I think I'll have a piece of cake with me? Well. You faked with me? Yeah. You faked with me? Yes. No. Yeah. You faked it. I faked it. That whole thing, the whole production, it was all an act. Not bad, huh? <laughs> what about the breathing, the panting, the moaning, the screaming? Fake, 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 fake. <laughs> now, that kind of fakery is one thing, folks. This kind of fakery, well, this is quite another. You know, I can never figure out which one was Millie and which one was Vanilli, or, or was that the band's name? Then again, these two notorious lip sinkers probably lied about that too. But hey, as they say in Blame It On The Rain, whatever you do, don't put the blame on you, which might just be the slogan for today's generation entitlement. But in the athletic world, meanwhile, certainly Teo's skill on the gridiron is legit. In this regard, the linebacker for the fight in Irish is the genuine article. He's certainly no phony baloney Rosie Ruiz, the fraudulent winner of the 1980 Boston Marathon. 
Rosie Ruiz, the women's winner in the Boston Marathon today with a time of 2.31 and change. Now, we don't know how many seconds that is. It may be a new American record. Um, what, was, what was the time in your first ever marathon, and where was it? It was 2 hours and 56 minutes and 33 seconds in New York last year. And so you improved from 2, two hours and 56 minutes to 2 hours and 31 minutes. What, I what, guess so. <laughs> what do you attribute that improvement in time to? Um, I don't know. Uh, Have you been doing a lot of heavy intervals? Um, someone else asked me that, and I'm not sure what intervals are. <laughs> what are they? Well, intervals are, are track workouts that are designed to make your speed improve dramatically. And if you went from a 256 to a 231, one would normally expect that you'd do a lot of speed work. Is, is someone coaching you or advising you? Uh, no, I advise myself. <laughs> Hey, what's an interval? And who needs to do intervals when one can take the subway to the finish line? And Teo has no ties to some sort of Chicago Black Sox gambling scandal either. Say it ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so. Ah, uh, yeah, say it ain't so, shoeless Joe Jackson, but it was so. The Sox did throw the 1919 World Series. The fix was in, and it almost killed baseball in the process. Then again, too bad shoeless Joe didn't live in our era of honey boo boo shamelessness, because these days, sometimes if you get caught with your hand in the cookie jar, well, you can actually turn that into a business opportunity. Ben, when you run, uh, do you cheat her? Absolutely. Oh. Oh. I cheat that all the time. <laughs> Ooh, ah uh, yes, when stuck with lemons, you make lemonade. And you get paid for it, too, these days. But in many respects, could it be that Teo was simply way ahead of the curve with his fake girlfriend. You see, just as the Teo story was breaking, well, there came news of a new Brazilian online service that actually specializes in, get this, creating fake girlfriends. Maybe you want to make your ex-girlfriend jealous, or maybe you just want to show your family and friends you're in a serious relationship with a really hot babe. Well, whatever the matter, for just 20 bucks a week, Namorofake.com will create a fake girlfriend for you and post her profile on Facebook. All profiles are fictitious and aren't based on real people, according to site creator Flavio Estevam. And not to worry, ladies, Namorofake.com is indeed an equal opportunity fraudster, and it will soon be offering fake boyfriends for women. Bottom line, maybe Teo should be applauded rather than condemned. After all, anyone with a valid credit card can snag a phony hot chick on namorafake.com, but Teo apparently created his own fake girlfriend, old school style, and that's being a self-starter, as well as being pretty darn creative, if you ask me. And that's the Menzoid Monologue. <laughs>